Did you know that over 40% of adults worldwide report feeling mentally overwhelmed on a regular basis? Maybe you felt it too. Juggling work, relationships and personal challenges can feel like an impossible balancing act. But what if I told you there's a centuries-old philosophy used by emperors and warriors that can help you not only survive, but thrive in the chaos of life? Stay with me and I'll show you how Stoicism can build unbreakable mental strength. Today, we're diving into an ancient philosophy that has stood the test of time for over 2,000 years. Stoicism. It's more than just historical wisdom. It's a practical guide for life that can help you build mental strength like never before. The Stoics were masters of resilience, teaching us how to maintain our calm, focus and composure, even in the most trying times. In this fast-paced, ever-demanding world, Stoicism might just be the key to staying mentally strong, no matter what life throws at you. Let's face it, life has never been more demanding. With the constant pressure to achieve more, be more, and balance every aspect of our lives, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. Many of us struggle to keep up, battling stress, anxiety, and the never-ending demands of modern life. We're constantly distracted by social media, emails and deadlines, which makes it even harder to focus on the things that truly matter. And the result? Burnout, exhaustion, feeling like you're constantly falling behind. You might wonder, how do we regain control of our mental state when everything seems so chaotic? It's not just about reducing stress, it's about building the mental resilience to face these challenges head on. And this is where Stoicism provides a practical, actionable framework. So, how exactly does Stoicism help us handle stress and build resilience? It starts with three core principles. One, the dichotomy of control. This principle is simple but life-changing. Focus on what you can control and let go of what you can't. Think about how much energy we waste worrying about things that are out of our hands, like other people's opinions, the weather or unexpected obstacles. The Stoics teach us that real peace comes from understanding the difference between what is within our control, like our thoughts, actions and attitudes, and what isn't, such as other people's reactions or external outcomes. For example, imagine you're stuck in traffic. You can't control the traffic, but you can control how you respond to it. You could choose to get frustrated, honk and stress out. Or you could use that time to listen to a podcast, reflect on your day, or simply practice patience. Shifting your focus to what you can control frees up mental energy, reducing stress and frustration. 2. Acceptance of fate Amor Fati. The Stoics believed that everything happens for a reason, even if it's not immediately clear. This doesn't mean being passive or accepting defeat. Rather, it's about embracing life's twists and turns with a mindset of openness. Instead of resisting life's challenges, we learn to accept them, knowing that they are part of the journey. Whether it's an unexpected job loss, a personal setback, or something as small as a bad day, Stoicism teaches us to meet these moments with grace and strength. 3. Living a virtuous life. For the Stoics, the ultimate goal is to live in alignment with virtue, meaning our actions should reflect wisdom, courage, justice and moderation. This doesn't mean being perfect, but it does mean striving to do what's right, even when it's difficult. Living by virtue creates a sense of purpose and meaning, which builds long-term resilience. When we align our actions with our values, we gain the internal strength to face any adversity with confidence and clarity. One of the most powerful Stoic quotes comes from the philosopher Epictetus. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This idea is central to Stoic philosophy, reminding us that while we can't always control the events of our lives, we can control how we respond. 
Imagine facing a situation where you're let down by someone you trusted. Maybe they didn't meet your expectations, or they acted in a way that hurt you. Now, what would the Stoics advise? First, recognize that you can't control their actions, only your own response. Instead of lashing out in anger or holding a grudge, Stoicism teaches us to respond with calmness and clarity. Ask yourself, what is the virtuous way to respond here? By focusing on your own thoughts and actions, you shift the power back to yourself, building mental strength and emotional resilience. Let's look at another historical example. Marcus Aurelius, who was emperor during times of great difficulty. He ruled through plagues, wars and personal losses, yet his stoic mindset allowed him to remain calm and composed. One of his key practices was journaling in the mornings and evenings, reflecting on his day and preparing for the challenges ahead. He frequently wrote about focusing on what he could control, his own decisions and actions, and accepting what he could not, like the external chaos of war or illness. In one instance, during a military campaign, Marcus faced immense pressure and the loss of key battles. Instead of panicking or becoming overwhelmed, he accepted the outcomes with grace and focused on how he could lead his troops with courage and wisdom moving forward. This mindset not only made him a better leader, but also a model of stoic resilience that we can apply to our own lives today. The next time you face a setback, ask yourself, what can I control here? How can I respond with wisdom, courage and strength? So to wrap it all up, the Stoics offer us three key principles for building unbreakable mental strength. Focusing on what we can control, embracing life's challenges with acceptance, and living a virtuous life that aligns with our values. These aren't just abstract ideas, they're practical, actionable tools that anyone can apply to their daily lives. Whether you're dealing with stress at work, personal struggles, or just the ups and downs of life, Stoicism can be your anchor. What Stoic principle resonates most with you? Is it focusing on what you can control, embracing fate, or living a life of virtue? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you're ready to take the next step in practicing Stoicism, don't miss my upcoming video on daily Stoic exercises that will help you build mental resilience. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay strong, stay Stoic.